Shalom. First and foremost, Kohala Yahweh Bashem Yahshua Bashem Kwakodash. The Lord is head apostles, a great millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to all the Yakim all around the world, pushing this world, pushing this word sincerely, diligently, and faithfully to the spirit and power of our Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahshua. So, you know, as we see, you know, transpiring, you know, in the media and around the world, we see that prophecy is coming to pass, you know. We see that things are stirring up, you know, things are boiling over, you know, and we see situations going on and we see the prophecy, the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, he's putting, he's putting prophecy, everything is all coming together, you know, as the word said, you know, and prophecy is starting to come to pass, you know, and, you know, like years ago, you know, like the head apostle Gabar said, you know, years ago, you know, you had all kind of scoffers coming up against the word, coming up against the truth, you know, saying that the prophecies were never going to happen. Now we're just wasting our time, you know, we're wasting our lives, you know, we're wasting our time, you know, you're scoffing. But right now we, we don't hear too much of that no more. We don't hear these scoffers coming up and scoffing like they did back 10 years ago, you know, when not, when it when it seemed like, you know, nothing was going to happen. But right now things are happening due to the spirit and power of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Why? Because it's prophecy. Because the word prophet or the word prophet just means to say before, you know. We're saying things before they happen, you know. That's the that's the, that's the job of a prophet, just like Noah. You know, Noah was a prophet when he was telling those people back then, you know, that a great flood was coming to flood the earth and to come, you know, to get right. You know, he was out. He was prophesying that for 120 years, you know, 120 years. Imagine that he was telling those knuckleheads back then <laughs> that a great flood was coming to flood the earth, but they didn't take it serious. You know, the only time when they took it serious, when it actually took place, but by that time, it was already too late, you know? It was already too late. You know, and it's no different than today. You know, it's no different than right now, the time that we're living in. We're living in right now. You know, it's, 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 it's no different. You know, we're here to tell you things that are about to come to pass. We're here to tell you, we're here to tell you, you know, that these prophecies like World War Three, you know, the MOTB, you know, the Karagma, you know, we're telling you thing, these things, you know, you know, before, before it happens, you know, that's the job of a prophet, you know, because, you know, right now, you know, the mood is already being set, you know, this devil, this Edomite, he's already set in the mood already. He already got these 5G towers that are, that's already up, you know, he's already set in the mood right now. He's already paving the way for this chip to, um, for this MOTB to be, um, implemented, you know, so, you know, where we as men of the Lord, as prophets, we're here to tell you, you know, before it happens, you know, so this is, um, let me just jump into this. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 28, verse eight, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old both prophesied against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. You know, what what time that world we're living in right now? We're living in a time of war. You know, all, you know, war is, is taking place throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, war is breaking out, you know. So we're already seeing this war already being developed. You know. And yes, this World War Three will come to pass, and it's already brewing. It's it's already pretty much been started already. You know, we're already in the beginning stages of World War Three, and it's only just gonna get worse and worse and worse. Every year that passes by, we notice every year that passes by, every year just gets worse and worse. You know, <laughs> because we're in those traction pains. We're in we're in the traction right now. 
just like when a woman, like we say all the time, when a woman is in 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 um in labor, when she's getting ready to bring forth the child, you know. You know, like the scripture says, great pains could pass her womb. You know, she she goes through attraction. You know, and you know those tractions just get worse and worse. You know. And it doesn't stop until the baby is finally, you know, brought forth, until she brings the baby forth. So right now, we're in those traction pains. Because right now, there's a transition that's taking place. Which, you know, Esau is going down and Jacob is arising. You know? So those tractions, it's not going to stop, you know? So don't expect things to get better. Just expect things to just get even worse. Until those missiles come in and finally destroys Babylon the Great. Because that's exactly what's going to happen according to prophecy. You know. Those nuclear thermal nuclear missiles are going to come down and, and utterly destroy and wipe out this place. Babylon the Great. A.K.A. You know. The USA. You know. that that That's the prophecy. You know. Verse 9, the prophets which prophesy peace, which prophesied of peace, when the word of the Lord shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent him, you know? So it's going to be known in these last days who the Lord, um, who Yahweh Bashim Yahashai is dealing with, you know? Because you have these, you know, prophets talking about peace, peace, you know, like we want peace, you know, we want peace. But like the scripture says, there is no peace. You know, there is no peace unto the wicked. The wicked is ruling the earth, so there's not going to be no peace unto him, you know. So don't expect things to get better. Just ex just prepare for the worst, you know. Because the worst is yet to come. You know, the worst is yet to come. Because this place is utterly going to be destroyed. So this is Isaiah chapter 42, verse 9. Behold, the former things are, so like, yeah. before the former things are come to pass and the new things do I declare before they spring forth, I tell you of them. You see? So the Lord said before they spring forth, I tell you of them. How How is the Lord telling um telling the people of them, of these prophecies? You know, through the men of the Lord. That's out there on the highways and byways. That's noise in this road abroad all around the world. This is how we're telling you. You know, because the Most High is going to set up his men, his prophets to go out and tell you and to warn you about these things. <clears throat> you know, before they spring forth, you know, the Lord tells you of them. So there's really no excuse that you haven't heard the word because this this word has been broadcast, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth for many years now. You know, starting from the head apostles on down, you know, this word has been broadcast all around the world, you know, for many years. So really, there's no excuse. And, you know, you, you already have these scoffers that were already scoffing back then, you know, talking that bullshit, so, talking about, you know, it's not going to happen. You know, we're crazy guys, you know, saying we're just a bunch of crazy bums, you know, standing on the corners. You know, we're crazy guys. We're, we're you know, we're bums. We're, you know. We ain't shit, <laughs> but the joke is about to be upon you now, because right now prophecy is coming to pass. Right now things are starting to happen. So the the the, the joke is the joke is on you. You know you didn't take this word serious. You know you didn't want to take this word serious. You wanted to live your life, your best life. You know you want to live your best life and 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 do all kind of wickedness and all kind of abominations. You know, until Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Now you're going to get caught up in that time. You're going to get caught up in that destruction now when it comes. Because you wanted to mark the um, prophets of the Lord. You know, you wanted to mark the word of the Lord. Now it's going to come upon you. You know. 
you know, your destruction, your your bullshit, your all your sins and your abominations are, are going to catch up with you in these times. You know? So this is the book of Galatians. Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. And it reads, But it says, Be not deceived, the most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You see, so whatever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You know what I'm saying? So when you sow wickedness and you sow, you know, this the scoffing and all, all the bullshit that you're in, you know, you're going to reap the same thing, you know. So you're going to you that's that's what you you got to reap what you sow. You know, you you sow this old bullshit that this um that the prophecies are not going to come to pass. You you're going to reap that same thing. Verse 8. For he that sows to the flesh um for he that sows to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that sows to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. You see? So when you sow to the flesh, you're going to reap that co corruption, you know. But if you sow, if, you know, if you put your trust in your how about Shem Shai and you put your trust in this word, you're going to reap ev everlasting life like the scripture says right here. You know, let me read that again. For he that sows to his flesh shall of the flesh, flesh reap corruption. But he that sows to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting, you know. So you got to reap, you know, life everlasting. When we tell you, you know, to get right and to come back to the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, to come back, you know, to who you are as a, um as an Israelite, you know, you're reaping life, you know, to the spirit everlasting. But when you sow to the flesh and you want to trust in the system, you want to trust in the words of the so-called white man, you know, you want to trust in his kingdom, you know, you're going to reap flesh, um, you're going to, you're gonna you're gonna reap out the flesh of corruption, you know, because you're corrupted, you know, because you believe that this place ain't gonna go down. You believe that you know that this place it, um it's not gonna suffer destruction. You know, you're reaping onto the to to flesh of corruption, and ultimately you're gonna get destroyed along with the so-called white man and 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 his kingdom, you know, you know. So you're just gonna get destroyed. Because you, you're not coming back to who you are as an Israelite, you know. You're not coming back to who you are as, um, as a nation. So you're just going to get caught up in that destruction when it comes. Because you want to mock the man of the Lord. You want to mock it. You want to make fun of, you know, Yahweh Bashim Shai. So you're ultimately going to get destroyed when our Lord Yahweh Shai comes, you know, to inquire. You know, when our Lord comes to inquire, you know, you're going to get you're going to get slain by our Lord Yahweh Shai. Because when Yahweh Shai comes, he's not he's not coming to play games. You know, he's not coming to fucking pass out, you know, flowers and in uh, in lion, lion daisies and shit. You know, he's not coming back for that. You know, he's coming back for destruction. He's coming back to bring war upon this society. You know, he's coming to bring that smoke to Esau, Edom and his kingdom. You know, that's what he's coming to do. He's not coming back for love like these Christian pastors like to tell you, um, tell you. He's not coming back to pass out roses and dandelions and all of that. You know, he's coming back for war. He's coming back for destruction. He's coming to bring this man's system down. He's coming to take down. All the kingdoms of the earth, you know, the first kingdom is, you know, starting with the so-called white man. That's why the scripture says in Revelation uh, that he's coming back with many crowns upon his head, you know, and those crowns represent, you know, of him taking down all these other nations along with the so-called white man. <laughs> That's why the Lord is known as the king of kings and lord of lord and, and lord of lords, you know. That's what's coming. You know, he's not coming back to bring love like these Christian pastors like to preach love, love, love. You know? 
God is all love. You know, where where is that in the scriptures? You're not going to find that in the scriptures because the most high, he's about love for his people. You know, the elect, as a matter of fact, you know, he's he's love for the elect. You know, right now, he's not love for all Israel. You know, all Israel is not going to make it on this side, on this merry-go-round, you know. Two thirds are gonna are, are gonna die, you know, right along with the so called white man, you know, in this kingdom. So he's only dealing with a like few, you know. So that's what the Lord is coming back to do. He's coming to deliver the elect. So you can't pretty much ignore prophecy because these prophecies are coming to pass. So this is the book of Ezekiel chapter 21, um, chapter 12, verse 21. And the word of the Lord came unto me saying, son of man, what is that proverb? What is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel saying the days are prolonged and every vision faileth? Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will make this proverb to cease and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, the days are at hand and the effects of every vision. You know what I'm saying? So the, the scripture says that the days are at hand. You know, these prophecies, you know, the days are exactly at hand right now. You know, the days are at hand. You know, so now these, these prophecies are finally speaking now. You know, the, the vision is finally coming to pass. Verse 24, for the... For they shall be no more any vain visions or non flattering divinations within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I speak shall come to pass, and it shall be no more prolonged. For in the days, for in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word, and the word, and I will perform it, save the Lord God. You know? So now these that now the prophecies are finally come to pass and these and people are seeing it. You know, people are getting wary right now. People are getting, you know, scared. Because now these prophecies are finally coming to pass. These you know, the vision is finally speaking now. You know? These prophecies are here and the vision is finally speaking, you know? It didn't seem like it back, you know, 10 years ago, you know? It didn't seem like nothing was gonna happen ten years ago, and then he, and these and he, you had these scoffers scoffing, you know, left and right. But now we're in a time where the vision is finally coming to pass, that the Most High is finally putting the um putting it together now. So it's the book of Habakkuk, you know, the second chapter, um, chapter two, verse two. And if and the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon table, that he that he may run that read of it, you know. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at, at the end it shall speak, you know. So so we're at the end right now, you know. So there's no denying that we're in the end times now. We're at the end of the line, you know. So now the vision is finally speaking now. You know, all the all the prophecies are, are, are speaking now. You know? So let me read that again. For the, vi for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. You know? So though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. You know? So so at the, at the time it seemed like it was tarrying. You know, it, it seemed like nothing was going to happen. But the scripture says, wait for it because it will surely come, you know, so it, it's it's that it, it's finally here now and it, and it will not tarry. So now the visions are finally here. Everything that we've been prophesying, you know, from the head apostles on down is finally here now. You know, thing it, it's finally here, you know, like the Karagma, you know, the um, 
Esau set in the mood for this Karagma to be implemented, you know, World War Three, you know, breaking out, you know, between Russia and America, tension brewing over between Russia and America, you know. So these are the main two prophecies that we're, that we're looking for, you know, the Karagma and World War Three, you know. So these things are finally coming to pass. And now where, where are the naysayers now? You know, where are you naysayers at? You know, where are you at now? You know, you know where to be found. You know, you're crutching down in that fucking dark ass corner. You know what I'm saying? Hoping that, you know, these, that prophecy won't come to pass. But like the scripture says right here in the book of, um, you know, Habakkuk, the second chapter and the second verse that though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. You know, so where the naysay is at now, where you naysay is at, you know, you now you know where to be found, you know, because you're up in that dark ass corner, you know, what I'm saying folded up like a fucking you rotten fish, you know, hoping, hoping that these prophecies won't come to pass. But you're wrong because these prophecies are going to come to pass because our Lord said in Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 it says show so shall my word so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish which i please and it shall prosper into the thing where where to i send it you see so the word of the lord of yahweh bashim yahusha is not going to return unto him void you know these prophecies will come to pass and they're coming to pass right now. So there's nothing you could do or you can gang say against the word of Yahweh Hashem Shai. You know, because we're in the time of prophecy and prophecy is here. So all praises and glories to Yahweh Hashem Yashai, Bashim Rakwakwadash, Shalom.